just a warning. These are my opinions and my opinions alone. This is just my advice. <laughs> so do as you will. So I was talking to somebody tonight because um, two, two people want to get married and I decided to give them my advice. So I'm going to give the same advice in a vlog. Let me see if I can't remember how it went. Before you get married, let's go ahead and take out everything you thought you knew. You thought you knew how to be in a stable relationship and what you're supposed to do. But let's go ahead and take out that 50-50 because in a 50-50 relationship, you do something and then I do something. And if I don't, you're not going to. So in that aspect, when you're married, there's no such thing as a 50-50 relationship. First thing is first, they're your priority and you are their priority. Just let's just get it straight. Now, when it comes to the dynamic in a marriage is all about communication and respect. They say the key factors in a, any relationship is trust and communication, but respect one of each other in who they are in the relationship is so basically you respect that someone the other person makes more money or you respect the other person makes less or the fact that you pay majority of the bills or whatever it is you respect that so when it comes to uh, trust trust is that you trust your partner in many ways and we're not just talking about cheating um, there's far more things than just cheating. It's talking about being open and honest with oneself. If one day you feel like that maybe you want to experiment or role play or get into BDSM, you're going to have to be communicative with that and talk to your partner and just be like hey you know don't don't shame me i just want to try something new and you trust your partner enough to know that they won't you know laugh at you or think you're stupid um that trust right there is a big one uh trust your partner that when you say hey this person i'm feeling jealousy with you know stop talking to them and that's a trust that they'll stop even if it's just someone that they don't know because everyone has that person or two that you know they were like friends with but not really like friends friends but like maybe chat friends who knows what it is and maybe that other person is respecting your relationship or marriage but doesn't mean that um, that trust issue um, in a different aspect just respect the fact if you know if I say hey stop talking to them it is what it is you know and that in a marriage is just gonna go down um, you know make sure you speak up uh, what you want don't dilly-dally and hope for the best you know say what you want to say you're in a marriage you're in a union together doing life together and working on life together you guys are partners so before you get married know this know that the communication and the trust and respect is going to be there um for the communication part you know some people you you know when something's bothering them you know it's like hey is there something wrong no there's nothing wrong but maybe a week later maybe even the next day or even 10 hours they don't want to speak up front okay because they're worried that maybe you'll get upset i tell you what i would rather be butthurt than lied to don't lie to me. If there's something bothering you, just say we will talk later about it. Because when you say nothing, that's lying to me. And if it's something that you're going to lie about because you think you're going to hurt my feelings, I'd rather you hurt my feelings. So let's just get that going in our dynamic of our relationship, in our marriage. I was married once. And I would, in any relationship, married or not, I would rather be butt hurt. Don't lie to me. If we're going to talk about it later, cool. We'll talk about it later. It's not going to be a big deal. When it comes to um, when I was married, I always took care of my wife. I always took care of my wife um, sexually, 
Um, I try to be there emotionally, physically, mentally. But the physical part is because I was, there was a point where I was unhappy with my weight. Um, and I was unhappy with her weight. And um, having sex just wasn't really easy to partake with each other. Now, when it comes to being sexually attractive as well, I'm insecure about myself and I wasn't very attractive with her because she was insecure with herself. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have conversations and um, this is what I'm saying out of um, experience is to have communication. So the problem with what happened was we didn't have sex and I didn't communicate. Um, because I knew it was going to hurt her feelings, but I think she already knew because we already discussed this part about the whole situation with the um, the non-sex stuff. But what I want to get into is um, I always took care of her. If it was with my hands, my mouth, a toy, I took care of my spouse. Whenever she needed it, whenever she wanted it, she did the same for me. Um, you know, she used her whatever she had to do. And we had that. We had that respect for each other that we was there to take care of each other um, no matter what. And that's what you're going to have to put in your head. If you know for a fact you can do this, then remember that. Remember the fact that you need to have communication. Um, be the person that explains. Uh, you watch this video or you had a good understanding don't be scared if they if you're gonna marry somebody and you're not having communication now and you're you, you are shy or scared to say something that may offend them or may upset them or may uh, they might say you're weird because you're into some BDSM kink then you shouldn't get married um, you need to deal with these issues first before you get married so work on that um, Working on things right now will help your relationship grow and you will feel more of they should be your best friend in a speak because you will be easier to talk to them and it will be just so much easier to have a communication without an issue and they will be more understanding once um, that line gets crossed where they, you know, you're talking and you're trying to fix things or you want them to fix things um, with communication. They said closed mouths don't get fed. Well, did you need to speak up? There's no relationship without trust. And, um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in respect with it too because a respect is totally just it's something that a lot of people um, don't really have because they think, well, trust is and some people say you earn trust and build trust well shit if you're about to get married i hope that's there because if it's not then you should reevaluate your relationship now when it comes to things that your partner you didn't know um it could be as simple as something sexually so you you find out that your partner um doesn't like to give oral and they have a reason they have gag reflex or whatever it is there should be compromises in relationships. Uh, a compromise is like, let's say, your spouse doesn't give oral because of whatever reason, um, either gag reflex or whatnot, compromise. Um, you could use other things, their hand, whatever. It's just certain things, in any situation, there should be compromise. So, you know, one can be happy in, but you have to have communication to foundation of a compromise and what that needs to be done. Like some people like to go to the bar and maybe um, finding out that the other person don't. Um, I'm just trying to hypothetical say because some people like to get married pretty quick. So you're finding out things all of a sudden, you know, you guys only been together three months or whatever, six months and you're still learning each other. Um, some things should have been learned already, but some things are not. It happens and um, you have to have a compromise. And it's just what it is and don't forget that. So before you get married, remember communication, all aspects, don't hold back. So then there's um, not holding back and communication. So the communication holding back is uh, the theory of speaking up 
when someone says what's wrong always talk about things the communication part is saying basically talk to your partner if something's bothering you say it until you feel better like like you getting it off your chest don't beat around the bush be honest always stay honest and what i mean by staying honest is you know me saying i really like this but i cut out everything else no i'm gonna go into details like be open and honest to what you're trying to say and that works out so much better um a lot of people don't do that and um it just it's like texting versus talking on the phone talking on the phone will save you hours from texting you see what i'm saying so just be straightforward when it comes to the communication part if they feel butt hurt it'll only last for a little bit um maybe a few hours maybe overnight but it'll be better everything gets better because you don't know what's wrong unless someone says something if i'm doing something wrong i want to know what i'm doing wrong so i can fix it and even though that it may go over and over a few times I haven't fixed it yet, but when you keep saying it, it makes me go, damn, I'm an asshole. Maybe I should fix that. Maybe I should change. And it's okay. I may have got butt hurt for a little bit or stings that really, am I that way? Well, then I need to stop and be a better person because this is my relationship and I want it to be better. That's all you have to do. It's just really communication. Then, then I trust the person that's going to tell me in details what's wrong i respect that because in my relationship and my dynamic and where her position is i respect that and who i am and what she's saying and then the trust the trust is me feeling that she can come to me and she could say what she needs to say because i won't get mad i won't lash out i you know sometimes i will i will be very i'll lash out in a in a negative way sometimes but then i say you know what i'm sorry i apologize i i was being what is that term i will apologize almost immediately after and i've been working on that that's really tough to do but i have been and um just to make things better you have to make yourself better so once you get to that point and you feel like you can, you can, you are able to do all this, then there's the next step. After you get all that done, you're married, cool, then what happens when somebody says, you know, I'd like to role play, or um, I think I'm into stuffed animals, or I like to color and watch Disney movies. Hmm, until next time, it's the fact that Oh cool, did you enjoy that video? Well if you like that video, try these videos out. That's all you gotta do. Click the video. Subscribe. Video. Oh, just hit subscribe right here.